Did you guys know that there are times where we see people in the emergency room that have put things on their penis and gotten them stuck? Well, it does happen. I'm Dr. Rena Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what's called penile strangulation. So penile strangulation is the act of putting objects on the penis that then get stuck. And you'd be surprised at the number of types of things that people have gotten stuck on their penis. That could include wedding rings, plastic bottles, nuts, bolts, pieces of pipe, all sorts of things. Does this really happen? How often does it happen? Well, it's been reported in the literature as case reports. There's been about 60 reports of this in the literature since the 1700s. Of course, there's more than that because not every case is reported, but why would people even do this? Well, a lot of the times people will do this because they are trying to experiment with the sensation of different types of objects, so for sexual interest, or because they're trying to get a firmer erection or more firm erection for intercourse. And there are actually devices out there that are meant for this specific desire. So if you are trying to do something like this, I would encourage you to look for vacuum erection devices that are medical grade, that actually come with constrictions bands that go at the base of the penis, as well as a vacuum device that helps you create an erection. And this is a much safer way to go about it. What happens when you use these devices is that they actually constrict the penis and the causes swelling of the penis beyond where you got that device stuck. So you'll get swelling, which will slowly cause decreased blood flow to the penis. So over the course of several hours, you will get more and more swelling, which will make it harder and harder to remove that device. Over the course of several days, that can become loss of blood flow. It can even actually constrict the urethra tube where you pee from and make it hard for you to urinate. So this is actually a really dangerous problem. And I've actually seen this twice in my career so far. and. The really scary part is that a lot of times people will do this when they're under the influence. So they'll pass out, they'll fall asleep, they'll um, forget that they have this device on their penis, and by the time they are more awake, they can't get it off. And of course, it's super embarrassing, so people wait to come to the emergency room. But the longer you wait, the more damage that you can create to the penis. So I encourage you guys, if you do find yourself in this horrible situation, please don't wait come to the emergency room as soon as possible because it will make it easier for us to get the device off and actually get blood flow back into your penis. Interestingly, this does happen in children as well. And the reason it happens in children is because they get hair stuck around their penis. So it can be hair from yourself if you're changing the diaper or a thread from some clothing that they're wearing that gets wrapped around the penis. So make sure you check that out when you're changing little boys' diapers as well. So what happens once you come to the emergency room with this sort of problem? Well, we have a few tricks up our sleeve to help reduce the swelling. Sometimes we have to use different types of wraps to reduce the swelling and then we can pull the device off. Sometimes we have to use something like a jiggly saw if it's a metal device or something that is really stuck on to get the device off. And that can be rather uncomfortable and rather scary. Ultimately, I haven't heard of any real dangerous outcomes after removing the device. Typically, people will recover over the course of 24 to 48 hours. However, there have been a couple reports of full penile necrosis, meaning the entire penis becomes black uh, past where you put that device and then there's no way to recover that tissue. So super scary. If that happens, don't wait. Please come to the emergency room. And really, don't put things on your penis that don't belong there. Make sure you're using devices that are made for the penis, elastic constriction bands that can come off easily, can be pulled off, not things that really don't have any give to them. So once they get stuck, they are stuck because you really don't want to be in this situation. All right, that's all I have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and always remember to take care of yourself because you're worth it.